That's right, yo. I, I, I really feel like I'm retired, you know? Uh, and let me explain what I mean. A few years ago, I set a goal for myself. And that goal was given to me, was inspired by one of my best friends, Stu. Stu was a very successful man doing his thing. He said to me one day, we were just talking, having a good conversation. He says, you know what? My goal is to retire by 40. And I thought to myself, I was like, yeah, that's a damn good goal to retire. Yeah, hell yeah, because you're still young. You still do it all, you know? You know it was like, remember him back to the future when he was like, that's right, he's going to be mayor. Man, like that's how it was to me. I was like, yeah, retire by 40, you know? And I feel like in a way that I'm retired, but let me explain what I mean by retired because a lot of you have a, uh, a view of retirement that is the 65 or older man, you know, just, okay, maybe traveling or sitting at home sitting in a rocking chair watching the sun rise and set. You know, it's a different view of retirement. But to me, I thought about it for a second. I said, you know, some people would say, if I said that I was retired, I feel old just saying it, but it's the word I have to use. This is, you know, but if I were to say that I was retired, they, they wouldn't say, they would say, no, you're not because you're still working make videos and I'm like well no no I, I don't view this as work because this is something that I love so I want to help change the definition a little bit and I think that retirement is once you've found a career path that you absolutely love it doesn't feel like a job it doesn't feel like drudgery it doesn't feel like you have to do it and you hate your life and oh my god it's Monday again you know so I'm doing something that I absolutely love and I have a passion for. And here's another thing. I always, I, had, I always had like a side dream of being the guy that just traveled with his laptop and made investments. My first investment class ever was uh, uh, Invest Tools. I, I went to this class and I wanted to learn to trade stocks and just make money from my computer and be able to, you know, be that guy in the movies that would just, you know, trade and like, okay, I'm done. Just just made about two, 200K. <laughs> Give me a martini, nigga. You know what I mean? I just wanted to be that guy. In a way, YouTube is my way of traveling with my laptop. It's like my videos are little mini investments that I send out there and I see how they do. And, and I learn how to place, um, you know, my, 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 uh, my, uh, my buys, you know, with my, you know, my videos, my video, you know, it's, it's just interesting how things are turning out the way I wanted them to, the way I visualized them to. And, you know, I got to thank you, Stu, for giving me that damn idea. I was like, yeah, fucking 40. I am 38 years old doing something that I love. And what's funny is now that I have no more pressure from a job, no more worries from a fucking job, I have all this damn time on my hands. And you guys get anywhere from three to six uploads a day from me, maybe more. It takes a lot of time to do those videos and to edit them. So they did take a few hours of my day, just so you know. But now that I got all this damn time, I'm thinking like, what the fuck am I gonna do with myself? Well, you, you, when you are retired, you have to get new hobbies. You have to attain, you have to get new goals in your head because the stagnant man dies, like literally. There are these numbers that say, these statistics that say, that a certain amount of people like die after retirement because they have nothing to work for anymore. They have no more goals. They have no more strive. Before it was going to work every day, it actually kept them going. Some 
wealthy people I've heard actually get jobs because they're so fucking bored. So me, I have to, I'm actually acting like someone that's wealthy now. I have to find goals. Like I'm really having true thoughts of really traveling now. Um, I just bought that $450 limited edition Batman Arkham Asylum PS4. So you know I'm gonna start gaming, and don't worry, I'm, I'm I'm still thinking about how I'm going to. I got I got to look into how. Matter of fact, send me videos on how to start a gaming channel. The best ones y'all know of, because I need to know how to record it and my voice and all that stuff. I got some ideas, but yeah, help me out here, goddammit, because a lot on my plate. Y'all ask, y'all request a lot, and I try to please all of you. And the biggest request I get is to do a gaming channel. Well, guess what? It ain't going to be just a gaming channel. It's going to be on the same damn channel. NBC has a ton of different things you can see for different people. And that's what you're going to get when you come to my channel. No need for me to make a separate channel, okay? Um, as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, I'm thinking about uh, joining a parkour gym. Um, maybe doing some uh, CrossFit. Um... Uh, yeah, so traveling, gaming, CrossFit, um, parkour, uh, I've been thinking about taking a martial arts class, MMA, you know, so there's a lot of things I gotta do to, you know, cause, like I said, the man has to keep climbing the mountain, and that's why, like, I'll see people at certain ages, like, they, they literally, they go and they cl climb Mount Everest or something, you know, it's like, it, you can't, you can't stop dreaming of goals to, to achieve. Because once you get there, it's like, ah, ha, ha. You've all been there at some point where you achieve something, okay? And you're riding high, like, especially after you achieve it. And then you're like, hmm, what's next? And then if you, if, if, if you don't think of nothing next, you kind of lower, kind of lower and lower and lower. Like Al Bundy. Al Bundy's crowning achievement in his life, you become like a has-been. Because it's like he had the four touchdowns in a single game. You know what I'm saying? Al Bundy was the fucking man. <laughs> and he always relives it. But he has nothing else. Married a fucking nagging, crazy-ass wife. <laughs> Two crazy-ass children, a hoe for a daughter, and a, and a fucking geek that can't get a date to save his life for a son. He's a shoe salesman. <laughs> I mean, that, it, it, that's a parody on some guy's real life, which is really sad. So you don't want to do that. So, like I said, I'm retired before 40. I beat it by two years. You know what I mean? I feel good about it. You know, like I said, my videos are my investment. They are my stock market. Oh, by the way, I plan on taking another Invest Tools class because now that I really have the time, I really want to see what I can do in the market. Like, it's something about that just intrigues me about investments and building a fucking fortune and wealth that way. With that, real estate don't work for me. I got to go in dirty houses and do all this different shit and get. Yeah, uh, property managers. And I, I, I don't want to deal with all that. I already took a class for that, and it just ain't for me. But numbers, which is something I always wanted to master because I never was great at numbers in school. I was good, but I wasn't great. So, anyway, post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Tyrone Magnus, retired before 40. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh... You know, this is a, the ride is just beginning. That's the craziest thing about it. It's just beginning. It's just starting. You know what I'm saying? You ever watch one of them, 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 them charts, them, you know what I mean? And you don't have a dot here and then, you know, a dot there. Well, here's the dot and I'm about to, you know, go up to something else next. So, so much more for me in the future. And, um. Uh, Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. One million subscribers. Woo!